Okay, once your canvas has dried, turn it in landscape form and proceed with the next step. Now you can use, for the purpose of the lead, you can use the tip of a big brush like this and start going around, tapping, or you can use a sponge in a circular fashion. You start creating a very quick beginning of a wreath. And you make it as big or small as you want. I want it to be about that size there. I want it to be around here. Okay, remember just keep tapping. When you do a tap so that you maintain those colors. Now if you want to make the circle a little smaller, then just kind of go in, tap in. Get something like that. I set something here so it becomes a little more. Step back and look at it to see if you're satisfied with the way it's coming. And if not, just work it a little bit more until you're satisfied. The next thing I'm going to do is pick up some lighter green and tap that green. Actually, yeah, it's a very light green. And tap it around. So now you end up with two colors. Remember, tap very softly. You can do it with a brush or you can do it with a sponge like I'm doing. Pick up some more of that, that light green. And just put it around. You don't want to put too much. Let's see now. You begin to create a very Interesting. Green. Now later on you'll find out why I decided to use black as the background color instead of a blue or yellow. I mean I could have used any of those but for this week. But I have a reason why I'm using the black and I will let you know later on. So notice I left some of the black showing through, so I didn't tap in such a way that I eliminated the black. Now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow in different areas. Pick up all the yellow so that it picks it up. Let some of that yellow show. Not too much, but enough to make for, for an interesting wreath. Tap, 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 all around so that you have an equal amount. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the liner. Pick up a liner. Pick up some of that yellow. Add a little bit of green. Having done that, I'll go ahead and add, I'm going to add some leaves in different places. Just sliding up, making sure I have enough paint on the brush. And let some of those leaves come out. Very thin leaves. And that might be enough. Maybe you can get carried away, so you have to be careful not to. I think that will do for now.
Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add uh, four triangles. So let's start with one triangle over here. Let's put another triangle over here. Put another triangle over here. triangle over here and now we're going to fill in the triangles all right fill this one in this one in and you see what's happening turn it into the ribbon all right I have to lift this up a little bit so you can see the next step have to fill it in like we did with the other one. Fill it in, just apply it softly. Okay. Now you can go over it when it dries. I'll try to put in some of it right now. All right, let me kind of curve it a little bit. Now that it's there, curve it over right here. Curve it, curve it, curve it. Curve it, curve it. Okay. Now I can go ahead and give it a slightly different shape. Some of the white got in there, that's okay. That's okay. Let's mix it in there. In fact, I think I'll do the same over here. Let it curve a little bit. There we go. Curve a little bit over here. And let it curve a little bit over here. Okay. Okay, while I have the red, I'm going to go ahead and use some angle brush. And with part of the brush, I'm going to create what I will call little, those little cherries that you see on the tree. Put them together here. You pick the spots, whatever you think you want them. be perfect circles, although how to make them as circular as possible. And now let's balance some of these colors by adding somewhere else. And there we go. Maybe there's four over here. Maybe there's one over here. 
Maybe there's a few more over here. Okay, maybe I think I like the one over here. Uh, with a thick liner, add some black, and put a little, a little dot in each one here. Small dot. See that I get them all. Yes, I did. Now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to the red to align the just a little bit, just to align the align the the red and apply some some of that on the circle. Give it a 3D effect. It looks like I need a little more here. Notice I just touch and move on. Touch it a little bit and move on. And the sun is coming from this direction, whatever sun there is, or whatever light. And we're going to go ahead and lighten that up a little bit. Okay, while I'm at this, go back to the red. And put a little egg over here. Uh, there we go. Maybe I need to lighten it up a little bit so it's obvious. decorate it even more but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you the next step. And for the final touches we're going to add some snow around here just by tapping. Let some of that snow hit it. And maybe just maybe that snow hits around here also. And it's up to you how much snow you want to put. You don't want to put too much. But you do want to make it interesting. Let's tap it on. And then the next step is to let it snow. So we're going to let it snow. Let me put more paint down. I want to have plenty of paint on my toothbrush. And now I'm going to go ahead and start letting it snow. Letting it snow. Let it snow, let it snow. You, want, you don't want it to be too big, so be careful. But you do want it to let it snow. Let it snow. It 
snow in quite a bit here. It continues to snow. It has not stopped. Very snowing a lot here. You can see how much is snowing. It's snowing a lot. Snowing a lot. And not to overdo it, I'm having fun with a toothbrush, but I do have to stop one more time and that's it. And my friends, I consider that a finished product. Hope you enjoyed. Hasta la próxima. In other words, until next time.